Hello everyone, and welcome to the first installment of Breaking News, where you get the top five breaking news stories of the week. I'm your host, Gabriella Sable. Today's topics include Internet Explorer, the Yellowstone flood, new charges for the Buffalo shooter, the Fed's increasing interest rates, and the FDA approving the vaccine for children under five. With that, let's get started. Your first breaking news story of the week, Microsoft retires Internet Explorer after nearly three decades. Internet Explorer, a web browser launched in 1995, was the first of its kind. People are mourning its ending with actual gravestones, memes, and Microsoft Edge even made a tweet about its retirement. Thank you, Internet Explorer, for all the memories. Your second story of the week is Yellowstone National Park flooded. This has led to the park being closed to all visitors until the damage is fixed. A disaster declaration was carried out by the lieutenant governor because the Montana governor, Greg Gianfort, was on vacation during the time of the flood. It wasn't until 48 hours after that Governor Gianfort's office acknowledged he was out of the country but wouldn't say where. He returned Thursday night with everyone angry at him. In other news, Peyton Gendron, the alleged Buffalo shooter who killed 10 black people in a racist attack at a Buffalo supermarket was charged Wednesday with federal hate crimes that could potentially carry a death penalty. Gendron already faces a mandatory life sentence with no chance of parole if convicted under previously filed state charges, which include hate-motivated domestic terrorism and murder. Gendron was charged with 26 federal counts of a hate crime. The Federal Reserve on Wednesday approved its largest interest rate increase in more than a quarter of a century to stem a surge in inflation. The interest rate was raised by three quarters of a percentage point to a range of between 1.5% and 1.75%. This move is already seeing effects in the housing and stock market. This is causing a slowdown of the economy. More hikes are expected to happen in the coming months to raise interest rates to 3.4% by the end of the year. Last but not least, the FDA authorized both Moderna and Pfizer COVID vaccines for children five and under. This gives roughly 18 million children eligibility to get the shots. The CDC independent advisors began debating the two-dose Moderna and three-dose Pfizer vaccines on Friday and made the recommendation Saturday to approve the vaccine for all children. All of these articles were fact-checked by Oh I Get It, the world's first fake news filter. Oh I Get It's AI technology filters through 1 million articles an hour to ensure your news is factual and reliable. You can download Oh I Get It onto your device using the link in the description box below. Be sure to follow our social media pages to keep up to date with the latest reliable news. Thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more breaking news Sundays.